What's up, you guys? My name is Miriam with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Cut through sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the recent donations. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Profile. The link's in the description box below. Um, personal readings close on Friday, just to let everybody know, today is Wednesday, um, and when I'll reopen them up in small portions, and I'll let you, I'll make the video and let you know when I open them up, okay? All right, so I received another channeling, we're going to do it, it's 9.41 a.m., 12.7.2022. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, um, someone had an illegal business regarding a hidden camera in your home in the past. I heard they were making up a twin flame ruse to the community and surrounding communities to keep it going. But the twin flame ruse, it was just, the twin flame dynamic was just a ruse. Behind the scenes, there were people, there were murder plots on your life. And um, there were murder plots on your life, dark arts being done on you, and you were severely taken advantage of. However, the energy has already boomeranged back on these people, and it will continue to boomerang back on these people. So, I think I might title this Twin Flame Ruse Gone Bad, um, because this is a sick, premedit. this is a very, very sick, premeditated scam, is basically what this is. It was a huge scam. And they made a lot of money off a lot of wealthy people. It was a huge scam and they made a lot of money off a lot of wealthy people. So it was a scam, spam, fraud. I hope somebody reported this illegal business that was run either through your house, sir or ma'am, or somebody else's house. I hope they reported this illegal business to the Federal Trade Commission. Anybody doesn't know, the Federal Trade Commission is um, the federal agency to report illegal businesses, scams, spams, cons and frauds just to let everybody know um if you were a part of this illegal business in the past and you know about this and they were basically had a, a illegal voyeur camera running through somebody's house in the past probably mine but it could be somebody else's because apparently on my channel there's a lot of people said they had voyeur cameras in their house in the past and some still do to this day so you plug it in how it resonates but however that resonates this one is unique because they had the community and surrounding communities they were running this illegal business they didn't tell the person that had the illegal camera in their home that one they were running a legal business out of it making apparently bukus of money off very wealthy affluent people and they were running a scam and a con out of it saying that there was some kind of twin flame dynamic but it really was a twin flame ruse meaning a fraud a scam Heard it's already backfired on them. It will continue. And honestly, it really should. And a Libra and a Scorpio is about to be very highly embarrassed in an Aquarius. And a Libra, Scorpio, and an Aquarius, and a Gemini. A Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, and a Gemini is about to be very highly embarrassed. Dark side. Dark side. They're dark side, low vibrational individuals. A Libra, Scorpio, Gemini and Aquarius is about to be very highly embarrassed. Uh, maybe they were the ones running this ruse through your home in the past, ma'am or sir. Or they conned wealthy, affluent people out of money using you as a pawn and a bait, not even telling you the damn camera was in your home, but using you as part of it to gain all this money off wealthy, affluent people. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's about to request their money back. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call and someone's about to request their money back. So maybe it's one of these wealthy, affluent people about to request their money back. And honestly, sir or ma'am, you should. And once you when you request your money back and you know the website this um, illegal business was run off of because it was run through somebody else's home, so it had to been electric. Oh, I'm not electric. Electronic. Uh, once you... Uh, re request your money back. Why don't you run over to the Federal Trade Commission website portal and type it, um, give the information of the link, the dark web link and website they were running that business off of and report it. 
Um, and do the right thing if anybody needs to hear that, because that's the right thing to do. Requesting your money back is the right thing to do, but reporting it to the Federal Trade Commission is the right thing to do too, because that's organized crime. That's like RICO law, RICO Act energy. And if you don't know what the RICO law and the RICO Act is, Google it. It's organized crime, which is what these people did. They still have not told you to this day they have done this. And it's about to benefit you in a huge way. The one, the victim. Okay, so the victim, which I hope you don't take on victim mentality, but obviously you were a victim of this because you had the camera in your house being baited as a pawn. Part of the twin flame dynamic, it was really, it wasn't. It was a false twin ruse, a false twin scam to gain money off wealthy, affluent people, basically. And I feel some of these might be celebrities because I was pulling in some celebrity uh, energy in some of this um, a few weeks ago. Um, but only celebrities know if they fit into this mix, not anybody else. But if they're not, they're wealthy, affluent people. They were scamming, spamming, and frauding. Um, baiting and pawning people in a community, in surrounding communities of this twin flame ruse. When it really was a scam. You guys really aren't twin flames. But they were making so much money off wealthy, affluent people that they didn't tell you to this day. And I heard to this day it's going to help it's going to, the person, the person that they ran this scam, spam, fraud out of your home as part of the twin flame dynamic when you really ain't, um, it's about to help you in huge ways that they haven't told you. So, good. But, that's some sick shit. But like I said, whoever's about to request their money back, I don't blame you. I would too. But I also would, if I was you, which I'm not you, but if I was you, I would go to the Federal Trade Commission portal. Uh, I think it's FTC.org or I don't know. Just Google Federal Trade Commission. You can make a report on there. Y y whoever you are, I'm sure you know the website they were running this out of illegally. These people have been trying to keep this so quiet and so hidden, but it's about to blow up. These people have been trying to keep this so quiet and so hidden, but it's about to blow up. All right, I'm going to close it here. Let me see if I hear anything else. And a publishing company is about to back out of a book through many series of chain events. And this person that wrote this book is about to end up in heavy negative legal issues. They realized it was a huge ass crime and it was. It was regarding this. Oh my God. Part of this. Part of this. Okay, so somebody wrote a book off this apparently or part of this. They wrote a book off part of this, but... I heard a publishing company is about to back out through many series of chain events on somebody that wrote a book regarding part of this. Um, I heard the publishing company realizes it's it was illegal and criminal, and I heard it was. It was, which all this is super criminal and illegal. Um, and somebody was trying to profit off of it. But I heard the publishing company is about to back out through many series of chain events, and actually the person that attempted to write the book off this scam, spam, fraud, hot mess express, they're about to get into legal issues with the publishing company. With the publishing company. They're about to get into legal issues with the publishing company. And they should. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. Well, I mean, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do this to people. You should have told the person that had the hidden camera in their home in the past and get them some help. Not run a scam, spam, fraud out of their damn home and take advantage of them if anybody needs to hear that. All right, I'm closing it out. Love you.